Good morning, YouTube. Today I'm going to be wrapping my hood, trunk, and chrome parts on my car. It's going to be an experience. I've never done it before. I hope it really turns out good. Uh, but it'll be a learning experience. I bought the roll off of Amazon for 125 bucks. The roll was 25 feet by 5 feet. It's got a matte finish. I'll show you the before and after. I'm not going to film it while I'm installing it. It's going to take me some time. I guess I've never done it before. It might be fast, might be slow, but I don't want to rush it because even though I have 25 feet of it, I don't want to waste too much of it because I'm sure I'm going to be correcting and might have to throw some parts, some pieces out. So, like I said, I'm not going to be filming the process, but I'll do the before, the after, and I'll talk about it after the fact, after it's been done. I'll show you the roll. So there's the roll. It's kind of got, it looks shiny, but it's, well, my car's much shinier than this. I want it more of a, I'm almost like a matte finish. To be honest, I really didn't have a choice. I, I just went online on Amazon, on Amazon, and this is the biggest roll that they had. So, to be honest, this is the only choice I actually had, but fortunately, this is actually the finish I wanted, so it kind of worked out. And it's through Vivid. I can't comment on the product yet because I haven't, obviously I haven't even installed it yet. Uh, but I'll, I'll give comments on that as well. It looks nice. It has a nice, it, the quality is there. It's definitely there. How well it adheres to the car, we'll find out. So there's my car. And anyone who follows me will know that it's a W204 C250 coupe. So, the, tr the hood I'm doing, the trunk at the back I'm doing, I'm going to have to remove my spoiler. And after I do my trunk, obviously I'll reinstall it. And any chrome parts, which is the emblem on the back, there's a chrome strip on the back. I'm doing my hood, uh, sorry, my daytime running lights there, and I'm doing the trim as well. And I'll just go to the back and show you exactly what I'm doing. So I will be doing those parts right there as well. Pretty much blacking it out with carbon. We'll see how well it looks. Anyways, uh, time to get to work. All right, so I did the wrap, and I mentioned that I had a 50-foot roll. Well, it took three attempts to get it done right. Uh, like I said, it's my first time doing it. So trial and error, trial and error, and I got it done. So what I did was with the Vivid, the one I have is the Vivid, and it's heat activated, and it is very hot right now. Even in the morning, it's hot. So when I laid it down, it really stuck. And to get the bubbles out, it was next to impossible. And keep in mind, I am doing it by myself. So that one was garbage. Then I tried another way of doing it. I peeled the back. Uh, sorry, sorry. I peeled the center of the back only. Laid it down. So I started in the middle. And then I tried to go left to right or right to left, whichever I forget now. But I went from one direction. Then I tried the other direction. And trying to adjust it and peel it. And then like you said, it's heat activated and it's so hot that the adhesive really sticks very well, and it's just too well. So then I went online, and there's um, a tack reducer. And I'm like, Jesus, man, I, don't, I, I, I got one more attempt. I want to try it, and I just came up with my own solution. Soap and water in a spray bottle. I put a little too much soap. So oh, it was easy to work with, but it wasn't drying fast enough. So I peeled it, wiped a little bit off, and you know what? It works uh, so unfortunately I ran out, I was only able to do my hood, I had purchased enough to do everything I wanted to do, but like I said, I, you know, I screwed up twice. Anyways, I uh, have it baking in the sun because there are little bubbles, you know, little minute bubbles, it's not that bad, but I'm putting, I put it, I drove my car outside, it's really hot, sunny, the bubbles are starting to go away, I'm going to go back with the squeegee. And it is working, but it's not 100%. So before I cut uh, the final edges, I want it to do what it has to do. But I'm going to show you what it looks like right now before uh, before it's actually 100% done. So here it is. As you can see, it's overhanging. This is the last bit. As you can see, 
I only had, I didn't even cut it. This is all I had left. Oh, a 50, uh, sorry, a 25 foot roll. But like I said, there are a few bubbles. It's gonna, uh, if you can see it, like there's one right here. It, it's very minute. The heat will get rid of it. I'll squeegee it a little bit more. And you know what, for what it's worth, I think it came out pretty good for, I would say my first attempt, but my third attempt now, first time ever doing it. But like I said, I'm gonna have to buy another 25 foot roll. But now that I've figured out the best way for me anyways to do it, soap and water, don't spray too much, just enough so you can work with it. For some other people, they might use a tack reducer. Like I said, I didn't wanna wait and I didn't wanna spend any more money because now I gotta spend more money on another roll. So it is what it is and it, I, it worked for me. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna get to it and start cleaning it up. All right guys, so I had it in the sun for a while and it was so hot. It was, couldn't even touch the car. Some of the bubbles did come out, not all of them. So what I'm doing is I'm going along with this. As you can see, I'm just gonna poke this ever so slightly uh, the bubbles and just go with my nail and scrape it. And I have been doing it so far. I've already done half the car. I mean, like, it's just a little stab. Ooh, you can't see nothing. Nothing's gonna happen to it. The water's gonna penetrate it. It'll be perfectly fine. And I'm getting all the bubbles out. So when in doubt, give it a poke and scrape it with your nail. All right, guys, I'm all done. That actually came out pretty good. It took a long time, mind you. It is my first time ever doing it. Unfortunately, like I said, I gotta buy more wrap to finish the whole car. This is just the hood. I'll give you a look. And there she is. It came out pretty good. I got three times a charm, I guess, right? But that's it. It took, you know, there's probably still are some more bubbles here and there. Very minor. You know what? For the professionals, hats off to you, man. You know, it takes a lot of patience. I do have patience. I think I was at this for six hours. Not bad, considering I don't do this for a profession. Yep, yeah, so there's the hood. I'll be posting another video when I get the wrap I'm gonna have to word again off Amazon but like I said live and learn trial and error eventually I'll get it and hopefully my video will help somebody else out so they don't have to go through two full rolls so the whole point of my videos to help the next person out like I said soap and water that's what I did it helped it out I put a little too much, you don't need a lot. And it helps it, it helps you it helps you move things around. Especially in hot days. On a hot day, it sticks and you're gonna be fighting with it. This way, honestly, it's effortless, but it takes a little bit more time because you gotta get the soap and water out. Then I baked it in the sun. And then I went around with uh, my little exacto knife and just stabbed the little air pockets. And honestly, it looks amazing. So now the next time around when I do my trunk, it will be a lot easier and I shouldn't be wasting any material. Anyways, I hope this helps you out and uh, look for my next video. Thanks for watching.